This is an incredible cheat code. It's accurately predicted every single one of Bitcoin's biggest moves for years and years and years. And it's just triggering a major indicator, a major move for Bitcoin that's coming up. Let's get to it. If you're new here, welcome in. My name is Steve. On this channel, I do not tell you what you want to hear. I tell you the facts and the charts. And my mission in life is dramatically improve your life to get you to wake up and get you to achieve something that's bigger than you think is possible. Hit that subscribe button. Let's jump into it. In today's video, we're on the monthly chart, Bitcoin US dollar index. We have a lot happening. We have two of the most important indexes on your chart right here for Bitcoin that have accurately predicted every single one of Bitcoin's biggest moves in Bitcoin's history is right here, right in front of you with these two indexes. You just have to know how to read them. Now, we sat right here in this chair last year and we made a rule and we have to stick to the rule because what we see happening right here and right here things are really, really heating up. Let's uncover the facts in the charts. I'm gonna break it down with what I see happening and what I think this next big move is going to be, and more importantly, when we think it's going to happen. Also, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give my biggest advice as a young trader. What I wish I knew before, because this mistake I made, I kept making, and it cost me a crazy amount of money, and I wanna share that with you so you don't have that mistake that I made. Now, we have the rank correlation index in the middle of your screen. We have price action above and at the bottom of your screen, we have the traders dynamic index. The rank correlation index, the traders dynamic index. The two most important indexes for you to fully understand every major move for Bitcoin for the rest of time. Now, there are so many ways to use these charts above. Let's go pound for pound, move for move. Let's start with this circle right here, which is dating back to 2015. We talked about it. We'll start at the bottom of our screen with the Traders Dynamic Index. We have one circle here in 2015. We have another one in 2019, and we have another one in 2022. Okay? We talked about this last year. When this red line in the Traders Dynamic Index gets above the green, that's the start of phase one of the bull. Okay? So phase one of the bull started literally right here when the red got above the green. We have to continue to follow the red because when the red got above the orange and held support, that was the start of phase two of the bull. That is key. Phase two of the bull does not start until we get above the orange line. Look at where we're at right now. Oh my goodness. So we've had this rule for a long time, more than a year. We had... The red line get above here, that's start of phase one. We had the red line get above here, that's the start of phase two. When you follow the red line, when the red line actually goes back below the green line, that's the market cycle top. The market cycle top is over. So just following the red line through the entirety of the bull, you can see every single major move that Bitcoin will have including the market cycle top, including the start of phase one of the bull, including the start of phase two of the bull. All the most important moves are right here before our eyes. Oftentimes we're blinded to it. Let's take those same rules, right? Above the green, phase one start. Above the orange, start of phase two. Below the green, end of market cycle. Let's see if it held true in the next market cycle. Follow the red line. Red line again, right here. Start of phase one of the bull. Happened right around here right? Start of phase one of the bull. Is that the phase one? Oh, hell yeah. That's definitely the start of phase one of the bull. Okay, follow the red line. If the red line gets above the orange, that's the start of phase two. Did not get above the orange here. It's not the start of phase two. Rejected again, not the start of phase two. Rejected again, not the start of phase two. Rejected again, not the start of phase two. Oh, above the orange line. Yes, start of phase two of the bull was here. An incredible time to invest because it was right before the start of phase two of the bull. That holds true. Now follow the red line. As soon as this red line crosses back below the or the green line, it's done, right? Follow the red line. Boom, 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 boom. As soon as it fell below the green line was here. And again, anyone who knows anything about the market cycles, anything about the charts, this was the market cycle top. People might say, oh, well, we went here. No. This is the market cycle top according to every single chart on planet Earth that covers Bitcoin. Just like 
This is the market cycle bottom. This was the double bottom. It's indisputable now. It was very disputable back then when we made the call of a lifetime. It's indisputable now. This was the market cycle top. This was the double top. This was the market cycle bottom. This was the double bottom. This one had crazy strong bearish divergence. This one had crazy strong bullish divergence. They're exact opposites of each other. This was the first top. This one said, hey, watch the hell out. The market cycle top is in. Get the hell out of the way. So we all know what happened after that. We had our double top. You can see the red line getting resistance from the green line here. We got resistance at the double top, which again confirmed to people who still didn't wake up like, get the hell out of the way. This is a fake out. And you see what happened to the red line. Follow the line. The red line came all the way back down and we got above here. Back in December of last year, we sat right here in this chair and declared that Bitcoin was now entering phase one of the bull just purely based on facts. And again, I do not tell you what you want to hear. Nobody wanted to hear that at the time. Everyone wanted for price to continue down. That's what they were hoping. That's what got a lot of clicks and views. If I made a video about Bitcoin going to 5K, everyone would have clicked on it. I don't care about the clicks. I care about actually helping people. I sat right here and said, look, Bitcoin is heading into phase one of the bull. Get ready. It's more risky to be out of Bitcoin than in Bitcoin. Whether you think Bitcoin is going to go up, down, backwards, sideways, right, left, don't argue with the facts. We follow the line. We made a rule. We said, look, look at the facts. Bitcoin will not enter phase two of the bull until we get above the orange line. There's no if ands, or buts about it. So Bitcoin rallied. We got into phase one of the bull. We went all the way up to 31K. People started freaking out. All the people that said we were going a lot lower suddenly were reversed. They're saying, hey, 50K, 60K, 70K. We might go to all time high. And we sat right here and we said, there's no chance. We're not entering phase two of the bull. We're not even close to the orange line. We cannot enter phase two until we get to the orange line. Until then, market's going to go sideways. We're not going to get above 31K. The market is going to be very boring. We're going to lose all volatility. It'll seem like the same price every day. That's what we said 183 days ago. And guess what? We still haven't gotten above this orange line. Attention teachers, coaches, professors, I want to hire you. Even if you've always dreamed about having one of those jobs and never had it, I want to hire you. I care about this. Here are the qualifications. Are you incredibly passionate about crypto? Number two, are you incredibly passionate about actually helping other people improve their lives? And number three, are you incredibly passionate about teaching? If you said yes to those three, I want to hire you. Send me an email right now, info at CryptoCrewUniversity.com. We're building an incredible team. Become a part of our team to help improve lives. Our mission is to change a million lives. If you resonate with that and you want to get a job in crypto to do the thing you love, this is your opportunity. This is a calling of a lifetime. Send me an email and we'll see where it goes. Peace and love. So are we about to start phase two of the bull? Take a look. Take a look at what's happening. Right now, we have the orange line right here, and we are right here. This is where things get interesting because that is the trader's dynamic index. We have to cover the rank correlation index because they go hand in hand. Let's cover the facts here, and then we're gonna summarize with what I think, and then we're gonna give a story to help people who are actually trading and investing, whether you're short-term or long-term. What I have to share with you is based on more than 20 years of experience. It's a really silly mistake that I know a lot of people are making that will really help you. Now, middle of your screen, rank correlation index. And then we'll get back to exactly what's happening here. Rank correlation index. Again, red line is the star of the show. What I want you to follow is the red line. Now, back here, 2016, we got above with the trader's dynamic index with the red line, start of phase one. What we've noticed with the red line in the middle of your screen, phase one of the bull will continue and beyond if the red line stays above here. We need the red line to be on top. When the red line is no longer on top, the market shifts and reverses, okay? Case in point with the top here, the red line was no longer on top. What we've noticed about the 2019 cycle is that boom, Red line crossed here, which means phase one started. We had the red line above the green line, which is good. 
but it plummeted back below here, which told us that we were going to retest our base. Right here are the facts, okay? What we did here, if the red line continued to stay above the green, we would have never retested our base. It would have been a smooth sailing bull run, right? But because we dropped below here, it added a couple hundred days of recovery time. That's all it did, right? A couple hundred days of recovery time because we had to retest our base. We had to recover from that. We had to build further market structure. And then we moved into phase two of the bull, which started precisely right here when we finally got above this orange line. And once again, we had our red line get back above the green. It's all, the facts are all right here. Every single one of the biggest moves are right here. I freaking love this chart. And I hope you have the, the wherewithal to listen to what the facts are saying, okay? Again, we continued into phase two of the bull. We had the orange, the red line back above here. Again, in the bull, the red line has to be above here for the market to continue up. If the red line is not above here, the market will correct and retest its base. It's very simple. So we moved above the orange line and we moved above the green line. We were off to the races. When do we stop? The red line crossed back through here, right at the market cycle top, and the red line from the uh, Traders Dynamic Index also crossed down. The red line is the king. The red line tells us everything we need to know. And again, study the charts from any angle. This was the market cycle top, indisputable, just like this was the market cycle bottom, indisputable. This was the, the double top, this was the double bottom, indisputable. We could have argued those things a year ago. You can't argue anymore. You study it from any angle. These are the facts, okay? Now, what has happened? We said, look, Bitcoin has gotten above here. It entered phase one of the bull, and then we made a rule. We said, look, it's likely we're going to go sideways for a couple hundred days, but here is what to pay attention to. Pay attention to this green line. If our red line stays above the green line, we will not retest our base. It will be smooth sailing. If we fall, if we have this red line fall back below the green line, it's likely we're going to retest our base. And it's likely to add a couple hundred days to recovery. Still be in phase one of the bull, but we'll be in phase one of the bull longer. So we have to follow our rules. We had this red line cross down, but what we have at the same time is a very interesting scenario here where we have our red line getting very close to this orange line. Keep in mind, if this red line goes above into the above the orange line to hold support, that's the start of phase two of the bull. And if you looked at it, you already can see what phase two of the bull did here and what phase two of the bull did here. It, it's very powerful. We're getting close, but here's what I'll say. In 2019, we had this happen first. Right? We had already gotten a resistance from this orange line. Then we had this happen. What happened here? Resistance from the orange line, and then this happened. This happened, and our red line fell back down through. We did get close to coming above the orange line, but we just never did. Okay? So what we want to watch for is what happens in the... This chart will obviously close at the end of the month, and it's going to be very telling. We could have a scenario where this red line crosses above the orange. If that were the case, we would have to see this red line come back above the green line. Now, can this scenario play out? Yes. Which one is more likely to play out? Are we more likely to enter phase two of the bull given the exact situation we're in currently with all of the facts we have in front of us? It's a potential, but it's more probable that we have this red line. And again, we've got to follow the facts. If we get to the end of the month and this red line is still below the green and we almost crossed here, I mean, we're going to continue to follow what are true in the facts. Then we will add a couple hundred days to this recovery similar to 2019. We will have some sort of a retest of the base. Everybody will freak out. They will sell everything waiting to time the bottom. That will never come. We're not gonna create a lower low. It's really not likely that we create a lower low. It's highly improbable we create a lower low. But as this chart stands right now, given the facts that we have in front of us, it's likely that we are going to retest 
our base. Given the facts, we made this rule last year, right? Also, we made the rule with this chart a long time ago. We said if we fall below this red line, it's likely we retest our base. This chart is lining up precisely with this chart. The only curveball is here, this red line potentially crossing this orange line, which we may look at it in a couple months and it may just be some resistance from this orange line. It's literally impossible to tell right now. What has already happened is this red line fell through. That's undeniable. This is an actual fact. This is a, hey, we might. This is not, we don't operate on mites. This might happen, yes, but this did happen. Big difference might and did this did happen we have to respect it this says like hey there might be some rallies in between here and the next couple months but pay attention we could retest our base how do we know the retest of the base is over well we looked no further than 2019 we had uh this red line move above the the orange line and we had this red line move back above the green both of those things need to be true to enter phase two of the bull we need this red line above the green and this red line above the orange to be in phase two. We will not enter phase two of the bull under any circumstance unless both of those things are true, period. These are cold, hard rules. And by the way, the top of the market is going to come when this red line crashes through and this red line crashes through, period. These are the rules. We will follow them until we're dead because this right here, this chart could make you so much money. It's, it should be almost like borderline illegal. This makes it so simple. But again, if you're a swing trader, you're so stressed out, you're in and out of trades, you're over trading, you're leverage trading, you're revenge trading, you're gonna be a mess. Swing traders can never profit from this because they're not looking at the right time. So you should not be a swing trader. You should definitely not be a day trader. If you're a long-term investor and you look at this, it will seem illegal the amount of money you're making, period. Now, let's get to some something that will really help you, okay? Well, I mean, this will really help you, but let's get to something that can help you from all of my ridiculous mistakes. Now, I, I started in the stock market when I was 16. I really had no idea what I was doing. I convinced myself that I knew what I was doing for years. I convinced myself I knew what I was doing. I had no idea. Now. The biggest thing that I made through my teenage years into my 20s was when I thought that the broader market was going to collapse, it would prevent me from making some pretty big bets. And I regret that to this day because I wasn't smart enough to see what was happening. What was happening was my emotional opinion on what the, mar the overall market could do to go into a turmoil, it would stop me from making some very key investments into some charts that were screaming to buy. Now, I guarantee this connects with you because I guarantee you've made this mistake, but I want you to see it clearly. I want you to instead trade based on a singular chart. Never trade based on what you think might happen with the direction of the overall market. Meaning right now you may think, oh, I think crypto is going to go in a downfall. Therefore, I'm not going to buy this stock. I'm not going to buy this crypto. I want you to trade based on the facts in the charts that you're studying, that you're trading, not based on the overall market. This is one of the biggest mistakes I made. There was some stocks back in the days that I wanted to buy, where they were screaming to buy but I got caught up in the news. Everybody was saying that the market's gonna go into ridiculous crash and worst since this and bloodbath since that and everything, and I believed it. I ate it up. I didn't even know the cycle I was in. I wasn't smart enough to realize it then. I can only realize it now looking back like, wow, I did that for years. So please don't let it happen to you. If you're in the stock market and you think the overall stock market is gonna go into a collapse, great. Don't let that affect uh, an incredible buy in the stock market. Don't let that affect. And case in point, Netflix. We talked about it on this channel or maybe the FFA. I think it was this channel, but it was a huge buy alert that we made on Netflix. It was about $180. Netflix had fallen. And at the time, it was ridiculous to think about investing in a stock 
because everyone on planet Earth said the stock market was going to go into an incredible collapse, that this was just the beginning, that it was inevitable, that everyone believed it. Every of the world's top economists said that. We came back on this channel, showed the Netflix chart at 180, and I said this is an incredible buy opportunity based on the facts. What did Netflix do? It went from 180 up to like, I don't know, 350 or something crazy. It, 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 maybe 400 and something. I don't even know. It, it went crazy, but that's what it was supposed to do. If you followed the market that everyone was saying the overall market's going to collapse, it would have prevented me from buying Netflix. But now in my older age, I'm a little bit wiser. I can see these emotional mistakes. I can outsmart them with rules and then we beat the system and then it becomes like borderline illegal. That's what I want you to focus on. Follow rules, be incredibly disciplined, focus on the facts, and it's gonna lead you in incredible places. I'll leave you on that note. I'll see you right back here in the next video. Do you wanna know when to buy and when to sell? Click this video right now.